Welcome to another edition of Lean Bites. Thanks for joining me today. My name is Paul Dean. In today's edition of Lean Bites, we're going to look at how using the right words at your daily huddle can help build a successful improvement culture. Now, please stay with me for a few minutes and I'll explain. Now, over many years of implementing Lean, I found that the daily huddle is so very much underrated. And I'm totally convinced it's one of the key foundation cornerstones for a successful improvement culture. You get the daily huddle right and it provides a necessary environment where you can collectively review and action to resolve issues. You can nurture future leaders and your team members can develop a voice and be empowered to bring about small scale improvements. And many businesses around the world like Toyota have proven that this is the case. And the daily huddle becomes such a powerful instrument in building this awesome improvement culture. Now, we've all heard about words uh, that are very powerful, equally important in the workplace and more so with leaders. As leaders, your words can build up or they can tear down. Now, there's a philosophy called above the line thinking made popular by Carolyn Taylor. Simply, it's an arbitrary Corals on a line that separates the words we use. Operating above the line is open and positive. Operating below the line is closed and negative. The words that are above the line represent thoughtful words that are positive and build up. And unfortunately, below the line are words that represent automatic reaction, which can be sometimes negative, diminishing of people, or even could shut them down. Now, I'm sure you're asking, how can I choose above the line words and ensure they're used in our daily huddle. So I've got a few tips that can help you navigate this principle leading to a highly engaging daily huddle. Number one, huddle meeting guidelines. In your daily huddle, having a meeting structure through simple guidelines is very powerful. Create these guidelines through team collaboration so that everyone can contribute and therefore everyone can benefit. These are a set of principles and ways of working that the team agrees upon. For example, ensure everyone feels welcome even if you're all familiar with each other. A nice start is to say thanks to everyone for attending. Ensure everyone has the right proximity to the board that the line of sight is clear. Ensure as best you can that there are no obstructions, both physical or auditory and there, that there are no distractions such as phone calls or external conversations. Perhaps start and finish on time. This allows everyone to know and adhere to the time commitment. Follow an agenda to ensure everything is covered and only one person speaking at a time. Self-police this against the agreed guidelines. And if one person is speaking, ensure the rest of the group respect that person by not cutting them off or speaking over them. Above all, create guidelines to ensure the meeting is effective and regularly review these guidelines and change things if they're not. Number two, mindset. We need to have the right thinking and the right approach to all our interactions well before we enter into them. This will then lead us to involuntarily having the right attitude, which will be more consistently displayed regardless of our environment. And using above the line words and having above the line attitude is something that has to be developed. It may not come naturally. And during our daily huddle, we will encounter situations that will test the way we think. So it's critically important that we have the right mindset before going into the meeting. And during the meeting, if we do experience below the line words or attitudes, then very respectfully call them out. Use self-police the use of unacceptable words or attitudes. Don't just rely on the leaders to do this, but ensure that everyone contributes to the safe environment. And finally, number three, caring for people. Caring for people is a foundational cornerstone of humanity, and especially in our workplace. Leaders need to model the right behavior. Use above the line words that are positive and constructive and develop a positive environment that encourages people, that provides an opportunity for people to speak without the fear of being shut down. And when people are speaking 
as leaders model the right behavior by listening well. Create an opportunity where everyone respects what people are saying. But they also ensure that they have the right words to say and these aligned with your agreed values. And for those who lack confidence, create an environment that allows them to contribute. Now, although it might be helpful at the start, it doesn't help in the long run if the daily huddle is always dominated by the same people. Create an environment that acknowledges and rewards your people when they do well. Model it so that everyone in the huddle follows the right behavior. Caring is always about using the right words. And if your organization has core values, then display them in your meeting alongside the meeting guidelines. Maybe even create subsidiary values that will be displayed in your meeting and show a connection between what your team values and what the overall organization values. Now I found that if a truly effective daily huddle is a powerful component for building a solid improvement culture. And the choice of above the line words makes a significant difference to the culture of an organization. I hope this has been very helpful. And before I let you go, I'm just gonna give you a simple quote. We fail to say the right words because we choose to say the wrong words. We choose to say the wrong words because we fail to think the right words. Thanks for joining me on this edition of Lean Bites.